I, I see you, Nate. My name is Rhiannon C, and I'm here with Technician today to interview Astro Nate. So if you just want to go ahead and introduce yourself. What's up, y'all? My name is Nate. I go by Astro Nate, and uh, I'm a music producer and a part of Callisto Records. So when did you create the Astro Nate name? Uh, so the name actually came, I was in like, I think like the seventh grade or something like that, and I needed an Instagram uh, at tag. Um, and I was thinking, I was trying to make it something clever. Um, but I didn't want to like, you know, go too far with it. And then I always wanted to be an astronaut when I was a kid, like space has always been like a, a super interesting thing to me. Um, and so, um, somehow one day I was just playing around with the word like astronaut and I came up with Astro Nate. I was like, ah, oh, that's clever. And like, everyone always like thought of it as like a little like fun nickname. Um, and so it just kind of like carried its way. And then, um, once I like told everybody about like in college, like it was just like a call on immediately. So I was like, I guess I'll just go by that if I was gonna <laughs> use that as a stage name. So is college when you started making music and producing? Yeah, actually, um, so it was like my first year. I was in, uh, I lived in Owen Hall uh, with my, my boy Norm. He goes by AO Norm um, and he makes music too. Um, but I got an FL from like a friend in high school. His name was Kyle. And uh, he had shown me a little bit about it, but I was not good and I was super trash at making beats. Like <laughs> it was really bad. And um, me and Norm were like, we're in the dorm, you know, messing with it and trying to learn it. And then um, one night, Norm just stayed up till like 6 a.m. He was like, yo, I figured it out. I know how to do it now. Like, it all makes sense. And I was like, oh, bet, perfect. And so um, him and another guy I know named Lewis, he, they showed me the ropes that had to do it. And we were like, okay, bet. So Christmas break came around. Um, and that's when I was like, okay, I can hunker down and really start making beats now. Um, and that's when I like, I first like I made my official like first beat ever um, that was actually like decent. Uh, and from there, we just like went back and forth. We'd make it like a thing. Me and Norma just make beats back and forth and like try to see who could, who could one up each other. It's like a competition. What artists or other producers sort of influence what you do? Uh, so definitely like on a local level, I look to like the people around me um, a lot that inspire me. So like Norma obviously is the one person that inspires me. He makes like lo-fi beats. Um, and then I got my boy, um, PM, he does like trap stuff and whatnot. And so that's very inspiring. Also my boy V, he does like house music, which I'm starting to get into uh, a little bit. And then, um, I also got my boy Amir who also does lo-fi, but on like a, when I look up to like legends, like people that I really look up to and try to be like, um, DJ quick, he's like, you know, like the West coast type of, you know, like the flutes and everything like that. Um, he's like a huge inspiration. I'm really into like the West Coast sound. Um, and then Ninth Wonder, uh, I actually got to meet him at Hunt Library because he did like a, a little expose, like talk to us. And uh, it was super cool because I've always loved um, sampling and like using older music and stuff in, in, mm -hmm. in like my beats. So that was like super, super inspirational for me. And I, I really uh, like that. And then Metro Boomin, uh, like just trap music. I love, I love hearing that type of stuff. What genre do you say you normally stick to? Or is it just multiple things? I stick, usually I listen to a lot of hip hop, a lot of rap. Um, and then I, I'm also a big fan of funk music, like old, like James, like James Brown. Like uh, I have like a whole playlist of just like songs I can run through and just keep going. Cause I think um, for me, funk is like really like, the, the tie between hip hop and funk is like really big for me. And I like to keep that funky aspect in like whenever I make a beat or something like that. So, so what are you sort of working on right now being in quarantine? I'm working a lot with, um, especially like audio engineering too. I'm trying to get really good at that and like uh, mixing and mastering songs um, and trying to like vary the basket. Cause I, I, what I, I think, especially working with like Callisto, um, like I've been working with, so with Gino founded it and you know, like we've been working together ever since. So like we spent a lot of time, especially right now, our boy PM, he's on the label as well. Um, I was working a lot with like shooting his music videos and stuff. So I kind of took a break from production and like I was behind the camera for a little bit um, and like editing videos and stuff like that. So um, some stuff like that is really good. Uh, he had his music videos out on YouTube and his stuff is on Spotify as well. So, you know, I helped out a lot with, you know, just like helping him put that together. I want to release another beat tape. Um, I try to like, 
the, the goal with like every beat tape is like, I want it to be kind of a story, but you don't really have to use words kind of thing. Cause I can't really rap on my beats. I'm not, a, I don't, I don't go do well with rapping. So, <laughs> um, but I do like to like have some sort of theme to it and some sort of a uh, message almost. Um, and that was kind of the concept of time, like behind the two albums I did put out. Mm -hmm. um, so usually like whenever I like, I think of like an album, um, it usually just like hits me. I'll be doing something random, like uh, jet lag. I think I was sitting in my kitchen and um, I got a plane ticket. And that was like the inspiration because it was something, it just kind of clicked. It just like the, the wire connected somewhere in there and it made sense. Mm -hmm. um, and so I'm waiting on for the next one for that, that click to happen. Um, but I think I have an idea of where it's gonna go. Um, and like the overall theme i just i'm just waiting for that click to happen and when it does i'm, I'm gonna make it right there on the spot <laughs> so where can we find so, some of the music that you've produced or made so i have a, a music on a variety of places so uh, i have two projects that are out on spotify apple music titled like the big um music streaming platforms and stuff that's uh the trap mr rogers and jet lag um, and then I also have a SoundCloud. It's just Astronate404. You can find me um, on SoundCloud. And I have a YouTube. It's also Astronate404. And I just put like, you know, random beats that I didn't really feel fit like a project or anything like that, but I still like them and I threw them up there. I just people to enjoy and listen to. So you can find all those different places.